Hey guys, what's up? It's Sue Seven Seven. Welcome back to Seth Tech Ages again with myself <laughs> and Heather. I'm still going. This, this is the longest. It's one of the longest packs we've done so far. <laughs> I know. I think like the longest was like what? Bla was it Blast Off? We finished that one. We finished that, and it. Uh, yeah. I know I got one in there. That was like. I think it pushed a hundred episodes or something like that. I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's in the morning on Sunday at daylight savings change. And I'm still a little foggy in the head. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, okay. I got, I know I got coffee in my, my, uh, vault girl blueprint cup. Nice. Um, so I'm, I'm good. Hmm. Anyway, did some work. Um, okay. In the back over here. All with right. the with the setup you're, 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 I think you'd like this all right here I go I think you like how cool it looks all right <clears throat> also oh, dude, wow. dude skeleton just ignore that uh yeah so it's got I got I docked outside to knock out the forest because if it need more um it needs to be more cool <laughs> <laughs> so here we got a whole bunch of um of water and lava alternating uh uh thermal that's your generators okay so this will be it's generating think about uh three or four hundred RF per tick, nice. which is not bad. That's been powering the the pump jack here. Uh, all of our oil distillery process is full. Oh, so wow. okay. this is full. The distiller here is full. It's got a whole thing of naphtha in it still. The naphtha thing is full. The diesel is full. Nice. This distillery is full with gasoline and kerosene. All three of these guys are full. Now I have um, I have some fluid uh, filters, some routers here mm -hmm. to route and split the different input. Okay. And then I have a router up here also for the same thing, just for kerosene, lubricant, and gasoline. Oh, nice. So make it nice and easy. So if if any if any of these empties out, it's just going to fill it back up again with its correct type. It's not going to oh, like good. split. Yeah. It's not going to put gasoline into the lubricant tank or anything like that. Um, so kind of nice. Um, I know that uh, Taz Taz Raiderin, who is who has been commenting a heck of a lot in the series, <laughs> and giving actually a lot of, of real great advice. Uh, he said I should look into routers and way ahead of you, Taz. <laughs> I got it. I got it. One angle out and router going in, splitting out. Okay. Also, uh, I decided to go ahead and get this get this ahead of uh, put in place ahead of time. This okay. is the uh, the solar tower. Okay. It takes solar energy and turns water into steam. Oh, nice. Just by boiling it with the help of these reflectors, which consists of um, blocks of silver and a bunch of uh, scaffolding and, and stuff. Okay. And um, right now it's completely empty. And it's dark, so it's not going to do anything. Uh, so I wanted to get water, and I was thinking of just inputting it in from this tank okay. and pumping it out from the bay. Yeah. But unfortunately, uh, we don't have fluid pumps. Oh, no, really? Yeah, so the fluid pump I'm used to, the nice little immersive engineering fluid pump, doesn't exist. Oh, is um, it a later stage, maybe? I think it's next stage. Okay. Which means I'm going to have to bucket some water into this thing and then dump it into the solar tower, which is going to be fun on a bun. Um, okay. But also, uh, something to all work All right, ahead. so with all of these things, do you have the kerosene, gasoline, and lubricant? Yes, I do. Kerosene, gasoline, and lubricant are these three tanks right here. I got two buckets on me. So one of gasoline, one of oh, lubricant. Oh, oh no. From the side, from the side. You're just gonna do that. <laughs> How do I put oh. it back in? <laughs> Not! Oh my god, I'm. <sighs> I quit. There we go. We got I, more kerosene now. I quit. I just... <laughs> we, got, we got room for kerosene. <laughs> I, I quit this series. I just. <laughs> Give me your bucket. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I just need the other ones. I don't have those advancements. 
Okay, here you here you go. Here you go. Do do do. <laughs> there you go. Now yeah, take yeah, these have... things from me. <laughs> <laughs> Before you end up killing somebody. <coughs> oh my god. All right, so that's what you're working on now is the ne the hot and steamy one. Hot and steamy. That's okay. right. So I know I there do, is a. I could do water. I can get water. <laughs> I know that there's a water there's a water deposit right here with eight eight million millibuckets of water, and I could set up a pump jack to pump water out. I could totally do that. Yeah. But that sounds like really un unnecessary, and yeah. plus it takes a lot more power too. And I kind of don't have that right now, um, so I'm just not going to worry about that. What instead I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the manual bucket process, and then I'm just I'm, uh, uh, I guess eventually I'll set up a. <laughs> A way to purify. I think I think I need a distiller to make it like better water. Okay. So look at steam. Um. So regular water in a boiler will make hundred millibuckets of steam, and the same thing in solar tower. It'll make a hundred millibuckets of steam. Okay. For two, so two for one on uh, on water to steam. Which doesn't make sense, but sure, whatever. <laughs> uh, distilled water is a two for one point five, so I get a much, I get as much water, uh, steam as I do for distilled versus regular. Okay. So I just need to figure out what I need to do to get distilled, which is a distiller, which is a two for one water to distilled water. So technically. Pound for pound, water still provides more steam than distilled water. Oh, really? Okay. Because I need two things of water to make one thing of distilled water, and then two things of distilled water to make 1.5 uh, of steam. Whereas I can make two things of distilled water, or regular water, into one thing of steam. Hmm. So two to one... Yeah, I would need four water to make 1.5 water uh, steam out of distilled. Okay. So it's much easier just to just to put regular freaking water in there. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry I spilled the liquid everywhere. <laughs> and then you broke the tank. <laughs> I was trying to fix it. That's not, that's just like, it's, it's salt in the wound is what it is. <laughs> Are you putting buckets? Yes. Okay. I'm going to put some... Uh... Oh, you got some in there. Here's have some more. Put some, some, some iron ore in there. <laughs> I had a full thing of... <laughs> it was, I was full. just I was just testing your theory about the whole fluids going into different tanks thing. That's it. I was just making sure it worked. Yeah, thanks. And you wasted <laughs> freaking 512 buckets. What do we need that much lubricant for anyway? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's a photo shoot going on somewhere with the GQ magazine. I don't know. <laughs> WWE wrestler is coming into town. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> WWE is in town and they need some lubricant to help the uh, the wrestlers, you know, do, do, not hurt themselves when they're... Uh, they're play fighting. I mean, totally real wrestling. <laughs> All right, why is this not working? What did I do now? I know okay, how to work the, a smeltery. The thing in the bottom is redstone. It's got five gems worth of redstone. It looks like oh. iron, but it's not. So we need to put click the iron, melted iron, to the bottom. That's all. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. Oh, there. God. 512 buckets gone. Just poof. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. No problem. <laughs> you're, 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 you're a real, real peach. <coughs> yep. <laughs> just, just, just destroying. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. This is going to be silly. I think we're actually pretty close to the end of this particular age, too. Yeah, we are. Uh, now that I think about it. Yeah, it looks like we've only got the steam and then the propane and propane, the propane and propane accessories. 
So actually, while we're doing, while we're waiting for this, for the buckets to be made, so we can get a whole bunch of water. Um, modular machinery chemical mixer. So a chemical mixer is an actual blueprint, and what I need for that is I need coal, coke, hemp, rope, a stick, and blue dye powder. Well, thankfully, I got plenty of coal, coke here, and we do have lots of sticks. Now the hemp rope, that's going to be pretty easy. And I think they have blue dye powder in the dye chest. We should. I remember seeing it. We're making a whole bunch of that. It's just easy to grind up, too. You just take some lapis and toss it in a grinder. Right? That blue the dye blue powder. dye? Or the, yeah. Um, yeah. Or yep. flowers. Or flowers, flowers yeah. Flowers in but... the grind thing will also work. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we have any immediate blue flowers nearby. <clears throat> I think I Lots of purple ones. I stole all the blue ones when I needed the blue dye. Yeah. So we toss that in there. We get... Oh, it, it, it grunted it. Did you pick it up? Nope. Yeah, um... I, I taught... I did not pick it up. Oh, <sighs> something <laughs> it wasn't me this time <laughs> it's always this ground up lapis did it pop out the back side is that what happened did it poop out the blue dye powder in the back of the, the workshop is that what happened no it's in here there's two of them in here i can see them right here yeah, there should be f it should be four now, and then yeah. six when the, by the time this thing is fully yeah, there's done. There's four now. I see four. Two in that one, and two in that one. <laughs> it should have been six. So I put one in there. <sighs> Never mind. Anyways, blue dye powder. <laughs> <laughs> I have twelve buckets. Do we need any more? Uh, I it, think that's a good start. It's still going, so we're just gonna leave it. <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and pour as many as you want as you can. And then just I guess fill fill your inventory with buckets of water from the from the river, and then yep. just dump it all into the the thing. Okay, so hemp rope is just that. Okay, perfect. And there is bam a chemical mixer. All right, now the cool thing about the modular machinery stuff is that it's it's a multi-block structure, and you can take a look at what goes into it. And you can actually visualize what this thing's going to look like uh, beforehand. So, what we need for this machine, we need the one machine controller that you made. Mm -hmm. We need 20 machine casings. Okay. We need, uh, looks like, two tiny okay. fluid hatches. Hold on, please. There you go. Uh, two tiny fluid input hatches, one tiny fluid output hatch, and one tiny in energy input hatch. That's all we need. And then we can we can sneak this. I can do a preview. So I'm gonna do a preview to see what this thing looks like in the world. And we're planning on putting it in here, right? Yeah, this will be good. This will be good. We can put it right in here. But I want to need... Okay. How do I get rid of the preview? Open another one to remove the one in... Oh, come on. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. All right. Um. Oh, I have. I have. I can just put this up here. I'll put these steel blocks in here so I can just visualize this sucker where I want it. Which is gonna be right here. Maybe one over. How do I rotate this thing? Um, um, 
hammer? Yeah, I'll worry about that later. The hammer usually rotates things. Yeah. Okay, so modular... How much of that modular um, ingot stuff did we make? Uh, quite a yeah. few. Oh, like two stacks. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, so the modularium uh, block... Uh, machine casing. Machine casing is made with uh, modularium plates. Okay. So I can go to the plate thing here and do that and just put that there. And then let's toss like, yeah, a stack. I don't know how much water we're needing, but I'm just filling this thing up. How many, uh, how many buckets have you put in there so far? Uh, 12 times 4. So 48 buckets? Yep. Um, We're up to 54. Uh, yeah, I would say that's that's enough to start with now. Who shot me? You. You. <laughs> Ow. It's the purple one. Aww. The gemstone golem. Um, okay. Yeah, that's, that should be enough water for now. Well, whatever you have now. Go ahead and fill it up, and then that'll be enough okay. to start with. <laughs> we just basically need one thing of steam, really, to start off with. One bucket, yeah. Oh my god, wolves, get out of the factory! <laughs> Security. Dog is in the factory. Okay, now I was. Now, Tab mentioned that you. Yeah, I can put. I could. Put all the pipe inputs into the one, same thing, which is the bottom slot. But okay, I don't, we have seventy-two thousand. Like so sweet. So we're gonna put this here. Oh, I know. Make it look, make it look nicer. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's that's looking nice now. Okay, so water comes out from there. Mm-hmm. And goes into the tank. Okay. Now I'm gonna need a lever on the bottom block here just to start outputting. So if you'd be so kind as to smack up together a stick and a rock to make a, le a lever. I think I can do that. Okay, I'm just making sure. Yep. Uh, they probably changed the recipe so it's like you need the obsidian <laughs> and this really hard you can get to get. Oh god, no. <laughs> oh god, please no. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, hey, look, no, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're good. It's fine. It's the same. And then, bam, and bam. Okay, how many of these plates do I have so far? Twenty-eight. It's a good start. You want me to click I hear it? you, dogs. You want me to click it or just leave it? So yeah, go ahead and click it. Boop. Let's turn this bad boy on. Well, it's nighttime, so it's not going to really... Well, yeah, but at least it'll be on. All right, water going in. Okay. Is this thing all that way? No, okay. So the bottom back... Is gonna be the plug. So actually, let's do this one. Let's move this further. So, one, two, three. so the plug will be right in between there. And then we put the machine controller there. The plug's gonna be in there. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, it's getting there. Slowly but surely. Let's see. Um, that. I should probably gonna need more modularium, I think. Uh, next up, we need a uh, input hatch. So a tiny fluid input hatch, which is four modularium plates, two uh, a hopper, and two metal barrels, and an energy input hatch, and then an item. I need. Is it two 
fluid inputs, right? Two fluid inputs, one fluid output, one energy input. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. How's that lever coming? It's already on. Sweet. It's going. <laughs> it's doing lever modularian. things. Uh, redstone, iron, and aluminum. Is that what we need to do? Oh yeah, that's right. That makes yeah, modularian. Redstone, iron, and aluminum. I've done that. How much redstone do we have? Um, a lot. Okay, cool. Let's get some uh, some of this extra iron going. Just toss it all in there. I have two stacks here. There you go. Sweet. We'll get some extra modular I'm going because we're gonna need need a good bit of that. It looks like, and not in bucket form. <laughs> you don't right. want a buckets of modularium? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm good. Appreciate it. Mmm, Girl Scout cookies for breakfast. Oh man, what kind? Uh, Clyde, um, Modi's stepdad gave us three boxes. One of <gasps> Dosey Dose, one of Thin Mints, and one of Samoas. Oh, I love Samoas. Those are my favorite. I'm saving those ones to the last. <laughs> <laughs> I always finish on the good note. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh man, I do love Samoas the best. They're, they're my favorite. I like tagalongs and I like uh, I like I love thin mints. Are tagalongs like thin mints. peanut butter ones? Yes. Those They're all peanut good. butter and chocolatey yeah. and oh, so good. Yeah, but Samoas have like that's that's it. That's the end, end of the <laughs> line. I I my ultimate weakness. They're so good. You can't even think of a word. Totes. Okay, so. Casing wise, we're gonna have a casing there, and then casing along here, and then a ring of casing on the top. Perfect. And then That's what's that? Really so ugly orange color. Yeah, I th I think once the once it's done. It will actually change the color of the blocks to be more appropriate to what's what it's been configured as. Okay. <laughs> so it should look better. Key keyword should. <laughs> I agree. It's still gonna look like it's still gonna look like a block, but yes, Luna, I hear you. Jeez. I agree, Luna. It's ugly right now. Yeah, Luna Luna agrees with you. She just didn't like how it appears. So, <laughs> and we'll we'll take her word for it because she's Luna. And she's the queen. Mm -hmm. She gets it. Well, anyways, I think it's time for us to wrap up here for now. So, everyone, thank you for joining us for this episode of Sev Tech Ages, with myself and Heather. And if you are new to either of our channels, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let's see that kind of thing. As always, I want to say thank you, a huge shout out to our sponsors, Host Havoc. Oh, if you're looking for quality Minecraft servers and more, go check out Host Havoc in the description down below. Uh, be sure to check them out with the ref uh, referral link. And... Yeah. The wolf get up there. It's good stuff. Because they're they're everywhere. The wolves are all over the factory, and I don't I don't know how to get rid of them. I need like wolf away or something. The aqueduct thing. Got him. <sighs> <Stupid>. <laughs> Bye guys. All right, guys. Thank you for seeing. We'll see you next time. Bye.